Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is November the 18th, 2021, and I wanted to talk about the links in my description before we jump into this video. I do have an updated Patreon with new tiers, so please check that out. I also have a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using that link, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. I also have a Spreadshirt shop with a ton of different designs and a Your Playmat discount code where you can get 10% off when you use my affiliate link. Here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting the list off here with Colonian Hydra from Commander Anthology Volume 2. This card is down 5.79% today from 1745 to 1644. And the next loser we have on our loser section today is Verdant Catacombs, and this is the Modern Horizons 2 reprint of this fetch land, down 6% from $21.84 to $20.53. Next up on our loser section is Bloom Tender from Secret Lair Series. This card is down 6.71% from $34.43 to $32.12. And we've got Jin Gitaxis Core Augur from Secret Layer Series. This card is down 7.27% from 1403 to 1301. Next loser on the list today is Birds of Paradise from the Secret Layer Series. This is down 7.36% from 1495 to 1385. And we've got Shieldred Whispering One from the Secret Layer Series down 7.83%. From 1482 to 1366. And our next loser on the loser section is the Ozolith from Ikoria, Lair of Behemoths. This card is down 14.69% from 1423 to 1214. And our next loser is Chance Encounter from Odyssey. This enchantment is down 16.10% from 1186 to $9.95. And our next loser of the day is Metallic Mimic, another card from the Secret Lair series. It's down 16.13% from 1339 to 1123. The next loser on our loser section today is another Secret Lair card, Archaeomancer, and it's down 19.90% from 1171 to 938. And our last loser of the day is Elish Norn Grand. Cenobite from the Secret Layer series as well. It's down 24.33% from $31.28 to $23.67. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are starting that list with Fury from Modern Horizons 2. This mythic is up 6.12% today from $18.29 to 19 41. Now there was a full art treatment of this card that you can get from the regular packs and the collector packs as well and that borderless version is $24.28 on the market so about $5 more expensive than the regular version of this card. It is seeing a ton of modern play in decks like Blink, Crashing Footfalls, Elementals, 5 color Omnath decks as well as some legacy decks like Blue Moon Aggro. And the next winner we have on our winner section here today is an old card, and that card is Junine Afrit from Arabian Nights, which is a four horseman set. Now, this card is up 7.89% from 112.78 to 121.68. Now, because this card was printed in Arabian Nights, it did have its print run disclosed, and there is only 20,700 copies printed from Arabian Nights. And our next winner of the day is Goblin King, and this is the 10th edition version of this card. It is up 9.04% today from 1128 to 1230. Now this card had a ton of reprints, and one of the reprints is from 7th edition, and that card is currently sitting at 376 on the market, and the 8th edition version of the card that uses the same artwork is about 357 on the market, so a lot cheaper than the 10th edition version because of the white borders. Now this card is seeing a lot of commander play in decks like Cranko Mob Boss, Muxus Goblin Grandee, and even Shattered Gang Brothers, as well as Wart Bogart Auntie. And the next winner we have on our winner section here today is Commander's Plate from Commander Legends. And this mythic is up 11.05% from 1421 to 1578. Now this card did have an extended art 
version of it that was printed in the collector packs. You can currently get that for about $19.91 on the market, so about $4 more expensive than the regular version of this card. It is seeing a lot of commander play, obviously, in decks like Kozilek the Great Distortion, Ardent Intrepid Archaeologist, Ossiger the Reconstructor, and even Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer as well. Next card is Planner Void from Urza Saga, a card that was on our list pretty much all week, and it's up again today, 13.50% from 911 to 1034. Now this card pairs perfectly with a new card, Umber Sphere Manifest, that came out in the Commander decks, and that is driving the price point up, but it also seeing a bit of play in the Vintage format and Solitai Midrange, Doomsday, and even Commander decks like Umber Sphere Manifest, Zergo Helm Smasher, and even Alea Artful Provocateur. And our last winner of the day is Island Fish Jaconius from Arabian Nights. Another card from Arabian Nights on our list today. It's up 14% from 51.58 to 58.80. And this card also had its print run disclosed, and there is only 20,700 copies printed from Arabian Nights. Now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are starting that list here with. Tethered Scourge from Urza's Legacy, an old frame foil up 108.50% from $2 to $4.17. Next up on our foil winner section is Phyrexian Defiler, another card from Urza's Legacy. It's up 110.11% from $188 to $3.95. And our next foil winner of the day is Cloud Cover from Plane Shift, a beautiful rare old frame foil, and it's up 114.69% from 4078 to 8755. And we've got Storage Matrix from 9th edition. This card is up 117.18% from 1799 to 3907. Next up on the list is Halo from Darksteel. This card is up 201.25% from 80 cents to 241. And our next foil winner of the day is Silknet from Urza's Legacy. It is up 205.58% from 215 to 657. Next up on our foil winner section is Phyrexian Debaser from Urza's Legacy. Another card from Urza's Legacy up 257.78% from 135 to 483. And we've got Plague Dogs from Urza's Destiny. Another old frame foil up 280.92% from 131 to 499. And our next foil winner is Pygmy Pyrosaur, another card from Urza's Legacy, up 301.79% from 56 cents to 225. And our last foil winner of the day is Opal Champion, another card from Urza's Legacy. It's up 415.84% from 101 to 521. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my magic the gathering market movers it really means a lot to me and if you could could you hit that like button so this video does get shared into youtube's algorithm as yes i'm still trying to grow on this platform and i'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers around christmas time that would be the greatest christmas gift that you guys can give to this channel also it looks like there may have been a foil buyout on urza's legacy cards let me know what you think about that in the comment section below along with your thoughts on what was your favorite mover of the day which cards you actually own that were on the list and which cards are you most surprised to see i do read every single comment that you guys leave so please leave them down below i also make these videos from monday to friday so i will be back again tomorrow for another magic the gathering market movers and until then please enjoy the rest of your day Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.